What's up, kids? We're going to start taking this thing apart. Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. Now, if plan B, no, plan B taught me anything. When it was the original troublemaker, it was to be patient. <laughs> but I wasn't. Yeah, all sorts of stuff out trying to get pins up. So this time, what I'm doing is I'm taking my friend, the PB Blaster, and I'm going, because you don't want to be taking up this whole thing right here. Now, we're going to be reusing this. Why? Because I don't want to buy another one. Uh, and it, it's not going to hold gas, it's just going to do this. Um, I may cut it out because I might put the wiring harness up in there or something. You know, anyway. So I need to take these side panels out and there's about 418 bolts. And there's some clamps that are brown, rusty. So I had sprayed them. I started yesterday, I sprayed them. And then I sprayed them again today. Now, I'm not going to show you what I did because I'm about there. You know, I just went like this. I was like, oh, there's one. And I put stuff on. Okay. And then I put this, this. I'm done with this. So I put it over here. Right there. Yep. So that's what we did. <clears throat> now, um, while that happens, let me show you the cow. Come on. What was your day? Mine's, mine's always the same. It's fine. All right. So here's the new used cow. Now here's the, here's the cool part. It's much better in there, right? Not as crusty, crusty. Put an emphasis on the H in Rusty. Anyway, so this is the part that goes up against the sheet metals like here, right? And it goes up there. This is where you put your toe board, you know, and you put your feet on it and stuff. So now this one and its friend, the other one, are in better shape than it's in there. But... Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. So we can still use it. I'm going to figure that out. Anyway, much better than the one that's on there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this front end off. And then we're going to try to get the other one on there. And, uh, Get it looking better now here's the cool part if anything on here that's already pre-bent and uh you know whoever's leaving cords out needs to stop all right whoever's doing that knock it off anyway um, yep, it's rusty and it's not going to match, but nothing. I mean, we got a black cowl with green and whatever, and a white, white door and a like Wimbledon white quarter panel. So, and rust and I don't know, red, whatever, white, I don't know. We are going to be doing some, uh, of course, body work and stuff. Too, too creepy. 
because it needs it, right? We're gonna start making our list. I was messing around with the sander to see how bad this stuff was, and it was just some weird, it was like overspray. So, I mean, the door's actually really good shape. Um, let's see. Anyway, the door's actually in really good shape. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be pulling pins, but it looks like um, they did this, and they put like new hardware in here. So I think I might just be able to pull this out and pull the door off with the hinge and maybe uh, go that route. Looks like there was a mirror here at one point. Speaking of mirrors, our, uh, our friend, friend Don, who uh, brought his uh, project over, donated some mirrors to the cause. So, you know, maybe, maybe like that right there. Thinking, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, we're gonna figure it out, but they're super awesome. We'll have to figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna mount these and all that stuff. It'll be pretty fun. Um, we are gonna have to get some new glass mirror. Let's figure out how to take that apart too. So that's what we got. That's where we're at. We still have a big dent here. We have some rust. The drip rail. Now we're gonna decide. Yeah, this, this one, the wood is mostly rotten out, so this moved a lot, and we got, we got a whole bunch to do right here, and uh, we're going to start with the rust repair, and I think that we're going to start right up here with it, and then uh, we're going to, we're going to be doing it right now, because we're going to let that stuff chew on the bad stuff. And if that doesn't work well, we're going to use fire. Fire. See if we can just start creeping on fire right away and get it over with. Um, so that's what we got going on for a little bit here. Uh, I do have to get rid of this wire right here, this one. This, can you see this? It's just in the road. There was a, there was a thing. See why I didn't take it out because it's stuck. What's going on here? Well, we'll be cutting that, guaranteed. So we're gonna get underway on this. Um, gotta figure out what parts I want to order, what parts we're gonna try to make. The panels, remember I talked to you about the right there, that guy. We're gonna get some ones that are tubbed. Sheet metal down there. It's rusty. Crusty. So you can see. We're gonna try to make that one. Okay. Now, they do make these panels and they are not cheap. So, and uh, it's, it's pitted, but I think we can save it. Anyway, that's where we're at. So when we come back, we're gonna to try to start taking this thing apart. And uh, if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, fire. See you after a bit. All right, one last thing before we go. I lean in the car. Or it's dandruff, I don't know, one of the two. I also went ahead and hit the screws on here with a little bit of the PD Blaster for um, <laughs> maybe some help on that. And I hit the hinges um, again, in case I want to pop the doors off that way instead of, you know, taking the bolts out. But I think the bolt, the bolts look new. So if I pull the bolts out, I think that might be the better way because, well, I mean, then the whole thing comes out. Now I'm just temper real. We'll see you next time. All right, kids, today on Honest Paint and Speech Up. We're gonna try those. We're gonna try those, you know. Oh, that's good. Oh, mm, that's peach mango. I don't know why I did. Yeah. Make a crazy camera angle. Crazy. All right, here we go. So here's what we got. We got those. Now, nah. I tried one. One came out. One. Bouncing the camera. Yep. So now, the reason we're taking these off, 
right? Is because why? You got the gas tank off, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm, yep. Hey, look at that, man. All right, so one came out, another one came out, so that's two. That's two. One and one is two. Now we are saving them because look, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that they're old, man, you know, I mean, I mean, look at Arco, he's old, right? This is broken, no, it's not broken, okay. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these off. I'll bring you back around, in just a minute. Okay, that's gonna fall down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't, I know, I'm using the one that I hate, and you guys are just, yep. All right, so I got these out. I also took out the entire electrical system. <laughs> anyway. So, all right. Now, 7 16 for here, right up here, and this guy is still a 3 8 head for the bolt. So, well, let's see. Let's see. Come on. Holy cow. That came off nice and easy. Or that's also not nice and easy. Maybe what we should do, we'll bust out the old uh, impact over there. It's not old, I know. So. Anyway, now we brought the persuader just in case, okay? Because we might need it. We need a smaller one. You always get your biggest persuader first. Why? I don't, it's just the rules. You don't start off little. And then go to the bigger one. You don't. I don't know. It's just what, it's what I was told. Look. There's a thing. By that I mean a saying. It says go big or go home. Well, I'm already home. So, you know, might as well go big then. Stop. We're going to scratch the paint. <laughs> Alright, so these... They're in there, boy. I wonder if I gotta get a punch. Is this loose? Well, it was loose, I guess. That's less loose. It's still loose. What's going on here? Yeah, so we're gonna have to end up having to do is we're gonna deal with that one in a minute. By that I mean I break it. Alright, we'll let's see. A couple days of soaking in PV blaster. This that does the trick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the rest of these out. See you in a minute. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get these back in here. Won't tell anybody I got the power tool out now. I'm stepping on stuff. Oh, things fell down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some angled ones over here, and I don't know if we're going to get them or not. No, nope, we're gonna have to do something else. But so far we got one right here that doesn't want to play ball. We're gonna be cutting. I know we're gonna be cutting some of these. Yeah, this one we're gonna have to do right here. This one we're gonna have to get at. This one we're gonna have to get at. And there's one. <laughs> it's like way down here too. It's actually right by my finger. So, and it's way down here too. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna open up the door on this side. Can you see me? 
I'm gonna open up the door so you guys can see what I'm doing about the ones on there too. Welcome to Inside Creepy. You ever been in here before? No? Okay. So we got a whole bunch of them right here too. We've got some good old fashioned clamps. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh, hey, that's something. That did something. You hear the noise? Okay. Let's, yep. So we're gonna be right here, up to here. Now I'm hoping, let's see, what does this do? What's your name? Is there two? Is there a 7 16 and 3 8 mix? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's a 3 8 That's great. Let's see what that does. Why doesn't this work? This is the right one. You know, just can't win sometimes. This is the right one. I know it is because I took it out of that creates one. Yep. Let's just do that. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do this more of this. Okay, the extension works. All right, whatever. Let's try it. Okay, we're gonna have to get a wrench on that one. That one's bad. Yeah, these are gonna have to get cut. This one's out. All right, so let's see what these do here. We're gonna need. Why do I put things away? I don't know. You tell me. This is going great. I'm just saying. This is going great. Let's see. Uh -huh. We're going to need two wrenches. Two wrenches. You guys like, yep, mm-hmm. We're just going to walk around. We're going to save a little bit of time. We're going to grab two 716s and two 38s just to Make it so it's a thing. I wonder. You ever wonder about things? Okay, it's not that one. 716, it's not that. It's this one. Okay, yep. Nope, it's not. Okay, yep, that's okay. Now, is it 716 on the back? Yep. Okay. Let's tighten it around. Get off of there. It's going great. Okay, so we have established that at least that one comes off. I don't want to cut anything unless I have to. There's already a few of them I have to cut. This one, maybe, I don't know. Let's see if we can get it loose. Loose is loose, right? <laughs> but this one does. Come on now. Okay, so you see what we're doing. All right, so we know that some those are going to come loose. Let's try a couple over here. Just realized something else we gotta cut off, and that's these mounts for these seats. Cause I got one right in the business end of things, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, I guess, I don't know. Now, when you're working on a 100 year old car, I'm fairly certain that 
the nuts and bolts that we're dealing with have been on here since, you know, whenever, right? Well, 1929. Unless it's a 28, I guess. But you know what I'm saying? Okay. Alright, so this is coming along pretty good. Until it's not, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going on this and uh, think about which ones I'm gonna have to cut. Like this one here, I'm gonna have to cut it off. The one down here, I think I'm gonna have to cut off too. Oh, because it's a three. I don't know, man. So we got one to cut off down here, one here. This one looks okay. This one was okay, I think. This one we're going to have to cut. That one's rounded off, so we'll probably have to just kind of get in here and do the best we can to cut them off. And then I broke the one down here, so that's okay. Now the whole goal is to get this out as best we can with as little problem as we can. Now, we've already discovered that one, two, need to come out by grinder. So I'm just gonna try to cut the, the nut here off when I do that. You guys wanna see that? Just one. Okay, let's try it. Hi, welcome to this old hot rod. My name's Chad, and I'm gonna be Taking a cutter, grinding tool, grinding to this, take this, put it right in here. It's not that one, this one right here. We're gonna do our best. I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna come down here this way, because it looks like that's the best way I can come down. And I can split that free maybe. So, here we go, after I get some gloves. Who's got the gloves? Oh, here we go. I do. I have the gloves. Appreciate everybody helping me look though. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. It's not shut off though. Whoever cut right here, not cool. Come on. There we go. Got it off. That's just gonna be a, a welder problem. Hey, that one might actually come on. Hold on. You ever hit your head on your car? Make sure you hit it more than once in a day. Other than that, it's not worth it. That one's rounded off. You know what that means? Yep. One more cut here. Stop cutting the gas though, huh? Cut the dash. You know, I mean, seriously. It's hot. Keep cutting. When I doubt who's cutting, so it's sick.
as you can see, this is fun, right? Getting there. Looser. All right, we got it broken loose anyway. So we're gonna be doing that too. <laughs> yep. So, so you saw what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do now or next, I'm gonna just show you this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the new cowl, not new, but new old woods cowl so we can look at it and see what we're going to be repla repairing because honestly this isn't really too important until we get that fixed or addressed or something i tell you this was good all right what are you doing over here we gotta go over here see okay now what we got right here and then a couple little spots there. Other than that, this is pretty good. We got there too. This all looks pretty strong. We got a little wingo here in this part. Everything else seems to be okay. Now I'm gonna take a grinding wheel, or not grinding wheel, but wire wheel to it and see what else we can see. Because what I did there was I just took a pressure washer and just kind of scrubbed. Because there's still some dirt on here. There's still some bumps from surface rust and whatnot. Apparently there's a piece of grass too. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do, oh, by the way, if you don't know what this is, this is where your heater would go. And there's your flap to turn it on and off. I gotta take that out because I'm not putting a heater in here. Why? So anyway, what we're gonna do next is uh, we got a new piece of equipment coming um, soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, Kind of end it here just so you can see what we got going on we're going to be working on hold on let me put it down we're going to be working on this we got this bed to take care of a few cracks to take care of but not a big deal i mean it's every all in all it's in really good shape for being a 28 to 29. um we are going to remove this here because i don't know what i mean it's broken anyway but the one on there is pretty good so i might actually run that one, you know what I mean? I'm not actually running. And then take some of these screws and stuff off because I don't really need them. But we're gonna be addressing all these dents and all these things coming up. This is gonna be next. We're not gonna to be too worried about taking that off right now. So next time you see us, we're going to be working on this guy. Um, now it's got rivets in here and I don't wanna separate this unless I have to, which I don't wanna to have to because it already fits really nice and it should, in theory, bolt back in there. Because same year, same kind of car, same everything, except for not the same, because it's not that one, it's this one, but they're the same. That's it, yeah. So, that's that. Are you working on a 100 year old car? Did you get dirty? If you did, you need to go to greasiesgarage.com and get yourself some grip wipes. Now, you and I both know that these grip wipes are fantastic. And if you don't know that, well, I'm sorry, but I say it all the time. And if you don't know that they're fantastic, I don't, I can't, other than me keep telling you, I'm not making any sense. Grub, right? Grip wipes on this thing, right? Now, if your tool's got greasy or whatever, <laughs> greasy, greasy crust, get it. It's a rough side and smooth side. And uh, let's face it, it's pretty good. Um, I pulled this one out too far. So what we're gonna do, go back in. We're just gonna pull it back down just a bit. Cover it back up. It's greasy as grip wipes. They're for hands and tools, it's world famous. Check out the thing, save 10%, come on. You know you need to. It's my last container. Hey, Greasy. Can you help me out? Please help! <laughs> anyway, do it. Just, when we're done here, go to the thing. I'll put it in. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this nonsense. I mean, it was really, you guys see that? I made it. Okay. Now we've been talking, Peyton and I have been talking. School just started, so it's been her first week. She's getting settled in. And we're, she's gonna come out. We've already talked that she's gonna be work, we're gonna be working on uh, creepy together. Now she might not be out here all the time because depending upon homework and stuff, but we got work to do here. And I know she's got a few things that she wants to take care of on Clyde because they need it, right? Yeah. So watch for Peyton coming out. Never know what's gonna happen. Um, but she's going to be helping me with the, uh, removal of everything on here. Hopefully, um, long as school goes okay for her. Uh, she started welding. She's had, got, had a couple little quizzes. Uh, she's doing pretty good. It's got a B so far. So that's awesome. I mean, hell, I'd probably have a D. Yeah. But, and then she started her auto, auto mechanics class too. They're going to be doing their first quiz on Friday, which is tomorrow. Um, on safety, shop safety and stuff. So that's gonna be pretty cool too. Um, she had a shop safety one today and <laughs> and uh, I said, I like, don't do what I do out here. Anyway, she's definitely getting ready to come back out. She's getting excited because Creepy is going to be with us for a long time. Definitely need some attention. There's going to be a lot of, I have a lot of plans and I'll start talking to you about them as we go along. We're gonna start to fill out the build book too. Um, we're gonna to go through that just so you can see that too from Stacy David. Uh, he sent this to us when Clyde took second. Remember, second place Clyde. We're gonna be going through this. It's got stuff like miscellaneous and fuel system, fuel tank, exhaust system, you know, who did the headliner. You know, door panels. Yeah. Uh, line lock? Hmm. Hub rotor calipers. You know, I mean, cool stuff, man. Upper control arm, front suspension, transmission, you know, where it came from, what it is. And then they're just talking about, like, cam grind and stuff. Uh, let me tell you this. Uh, whatever's going to be in it. I hope to find one that runs on at least five cylinders out of eight. Six would be super nice, though. Yeah. Uh, also, I want to uh, say, bring somebody out into your shop. Show them a cool video that you saw. Maybe this one. Anyway, no, show them, show them what's going on with uh, these classics, you know? I mean, not, well... If Bonnie was in here, show them that one. But show them. Talk to them. You know, get somebody excited about it. Bring them out into your shop. If you're working on something cool, uh, don't, don't force anybody. But if they want to come, you know, get them out there. Because I, I, if we don't, man, this is going to be all gone one day. We don't want that. Because who's going to take care of Creepy? Who's going to take care of Clyde? And we all know... Clyde's a drama queen, and he needs the attention and the help, right? Who's going to do that? One day we can't. So we got to get we got to get kids involved. And uh, my friend Craig and his boy Orlo, they were doing. Um, anyway, and his his whole family actually. I mean, they're they're all doing it. Uh, Owen too, and uh, his lovely wife. But. Anyway, kids, I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of uh, creepy build time, cutting things. Anyway, there's a lot to do with uh, with this one, and uh, there's a lot to do with, with all of them, and they're, they're never quite done. And, but I, I hope that uh, you can share your experiences and share your passions and your loves with, with somebody you care about or somebody who's interested or whatever, because... Uh, it's the only way this stuff's going to keep going. Anyway, don't forget to hit the... And the Can't keep on, Richard.